So my name is uh, Pierre Chaponnier. I'm application engineer with uh, Yellowscan. And um, so we're here today to uh, show you a few things on the, on the LifeStation software. Okay, so here we are um, in the uh, main interface of the LifeStation. It's a standalone uh, software which comes as a one window interface. So it's uh, fairly easy to actually uh, get introduced to. Um, so you have a main uh, 3D visualization uh, window which enables you to actually rotate around your data which is currently being uh, displayed. You have uh, different features to actually uh, enhance the uh, visualization of this uh, point cloud. You can change uh, point size, change colorizations. You have um, some views that have been recorded that enables you to uh, change quickly from uh, a profile view to a top view or others. And um, below that uh, main window and visualization, 3D visualization, uh, window you can access to more um, accurate parameters of the uh, flight um, so this provides you with information about the current trajectory of the uh, LiDAR which uh, is a direct relation with the uh, trajectory of the drone so you can um, have some information about flight time about uh, speed of your uh, vector it gives you a map interface um, in plan view of the actual itinerary of your LiDAR so that you can check if uh, it actually uh, goes according to the flight plan that you um, anticipated. Gives you some information about uh, your uh, IMU, um, which is activated or initialized or not, uh, GPS coverage, and gives you some uh, sort of uh, information on uh, heading and how the drone behaves. Um, you can also access a profile view of um, of the um, of the lidar, which uh, will generate uh, some information, altitude information on the uh, on the vertical profile that you're actually flying above. So it gives you first uh, echo return altitude, so which gives you some idea of uh, if for example you're over vegetation this will give you an, uh, an idea of height of trees and ground uh, level as well so this is really a sort of a support information for the pilot for example um, if you're uh, in safe control of your drone or if you need to uh, do some changes on the uh, flight plan then you have also a sort of a more um, different views, expert control, and this enables you to actually um, access uh, like digital parameters of uh, the different um, flying, flying uh, parameters, basically. So at the moment, we, uh, we're not uh, executing a, uh, a mission, so uh, we're um, actually playing, replaying a mission that we flew before, so we're in the uh, player mode, but uh, while you're actually flying your mission, you can uh, just access the live mode, which will uh, then stream your data of your drone as you fly. So this uh, provides you with a pretty um, a, um, a way to actually um, have a direct um, perception of uh, is your data correctly um, acquired? Is it um, in the format that you want? Are the features that you're uh, are looking at being captured or not and um, if you need to actually replan your flight at some stage or not um, so it improves efficiency of operations it improves the uh, quality of the data uh, if if you need to uh, rerun another flight or not um, so basically it will um, shorten the operation time <laughs> 